three problems without solving, determine the nature of the roots of each quadratic equation. So in every one of these cases, we're going to use the discriminant. And again, the discriminant, if you look at the quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. It is it is the discriminant, it is this expression inside the square root that is going to determine the nature of that root. So what we're going to do is we are going to take now we're going to take we're going to take that each and every time every one of these, we're going to take that b squared minus 4ac expression and we're going to determine we're going to determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic. All right. So the first thing we have to do is we need to determine the a, b, and c for that particular quadratic equation. For number 4, a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 3. For number 6, a is equal to 0 0.12, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to 2.7. And for 8, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to 9. Alright, so at this point let's go ahead and calculate. So b squared minus 4ac, so I have 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3. 2 squared is 4 minus, and 4 times 1 times 3 is 12, so I have 4 minus 12 which is negative 8. My discriminant is negative. Discriminant is negative. Therefore, I am looking at two complex conjugate roots. Going on to the next. So here um, I have 1 squared minus 4 times 0.12 times 2.7. So this becomes 1. And 4 times 0.12 is 0.48. And then 0.48 times 2.7 gives me 1.296. So 1 minus 1.296. So this is gonna this is in effect going to be equal to negative 0.296. And again that's the discriminant is negative. Therefore I'm going to have the same thing as this one. I'm basically going to have two complex conjugate roots. Okay, and then we come over to number eight. Number eight, here I have uh, b squared minus 4ac, so b okay, is going to be negative six squared minus four times one times nine so here I have positive 36 minus 36, which is equal to 0. But when the discriminant is 0, then we have one real double root. In other words, this parabola, if I were to select 
the general xy coordinate plane, this parabola takes on the characteristic of going up and just kissing, touching that vertex, that vertex just kissing or touching the x-axis once, right there. Okay, that may not be the exact position of it, but that's the general type of picture. Alright, so that's problems 4, 6, and 8.